going on, people? What's good? What's good? HG is to the street. Um, I mean, y'all see the title, man? Y'all see the title. Do you believe abortions are okay? Yes or no? Um, this is in light of the... I seen a post that Boyce, Mr. Uh, Dr. Boyce Watkins did with the um with the lady that's running for for whatever she's running for. I don't I don't I don't know what she's running for with governor, mayor, and one of her um leading um one of her main points that she's leading on is is based off abortions and you know. Abortions is a tricky thing, man. It's abortions is a tricky subject. Um, I mean, when it really boils down to it, it really isn't that tricky. But when it comes to individuals and their and their and their body, then um, that's what that's what makes it a little more complicated, you know, because you know people have you know their own outlook on their own particular situation. And even though having a baby is a, a, a act of two, you know, at the end of the day, you know, the woman is the vessel for um for life to um cultivate in. So um you know, it definitely definitely makes it a little bit more complex in that in that way. So I don't know, you know, when I was younger I didn't have an issue with abortion, you know, um, not necessarily that I thought it was right to do or okay to do, but I kind of, when I was younger, I kind of based it off, um, how financially secure you were, you know? So I was basically thinking like when I was younger, like, okay, if you can't take care of no baby, um, you know, you're not financially set up. Um, then, you know, go ahead and get an abortion. You know, why bring, why bring, um, a child into the world that's, you know, where you're going to be struggling, you know? So that was like very, very young thinking, um, mid teenage years, maybe a little later into my, um, you know, late teenage years thinking that type of way, um, And for someone who doesn't have children, um, my approach has kind of been that way even further beyond that. So, you know, maybe that lasted longer than my teenage years. However, I do feel at this particular time, um, you know, with so many, with so many, with so many black people, you know, kind of like dying at the rate that we're dying. And I've always been like, you know, I'm pro-life, you know what I'm saying? But I am black, so, you know, I got to represent for my people. Um, and with all the the different ways that we're, we're dying, like, psh, man, we don't need to be, we don't need to be sacrificing our babies. You know, I know it's hard out here. I know um, financially things is always tight for people. Um, a lot of communities that we in are safe to bring a kid in. You know, you got constantly, uh, you got to always be on the lookout for, you know, you know, the environment that they're growing up in, you know, peer pressure, you know, things like that. Um you know, it's just a lot to it's a lot to consider when bringing up a child. You know, um, you know these days things don't seem to be getting any better. You know, so and I mean, it depends on your situation though too. You know, it depends on where you located in the world. Um, you know, it depends. You know, but I always I also like to look at it as if you know leaving money. 
you know, financial stability outside of it. You know, you got other things you got to consider besides money. You got to consider about emotional stability, um, mental, mental stableness. Um, are people having children with the best intentions of the children, you know, reaching their full potential or are they going to be stagnating by the parents or parent, you know, um, cause that happens a lot. That happens a lot where you, you know, you have parents, you have people who become parents and their flaws and lack of understanding, knowledge, intelligence, um, can be a, a, a detrimental thing for the child. So a lot of things have to be taken into consideration, you know, when, when, when we talk about abortions. Um, when we talk about having children, you know, or, or causes to have abortion. So um, I know a lot of people like to say, oh, pro-choice, pro-choice. Uh, I don't know, you know. I wouldn't say no pro-choice but I probably would lean more toward um, abortion being the last choice, you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I'm pregnant. Let's go get an abortion. Like, that shouldn't be the order of operations when it comes to that. Um, from my opinion, and this is kind of, you know, is I can, you know, I could, I could play around with this subject more. Because I don't have children. So for someone who doesn't have children, speaking on people who have had children or people who have had abortions, you know, some people may look at me like, okay, you don't know what you're talking about. But which is okay. You know. To each his own, you know, um, you know, I can understand why people may say that. But still, you know. You know, some shit just is kind of common sense. You know, some things are just statistical. Some things are, um, you know, common knowledge to a degree. Um, so whether or not you have children or not, to be able to speak on the, the matter, you know what I'm saying? You know, you still have some, uh, you still have some relevance there. So, yeah, I would definitely say, though, that would be one of the last choices. Definitely one of the last choices. Uh when, when, when finding out, you know, that you're, you're expecting, you know, you know, if you're having some type of apprehensions about, you know, having a baby, if you, you know, possibly, um, got pregnant, you know, by someone that you didn't intend on seeing things long term with, um, you know, we always have to consider, getting pregnant based off some type something happened forcibly um and all of this is and it's a lot of other uh situations that occur you know um sometimes you know you were trying to what, use birth control you know i don't know how rare i don't have know how um frequently it happens it might be a rare thing where, where you're using birth control and still get pregnant using um um rubbers and still get pregnant um so you know with all that taking all that into consideration you know i still just kind of feel um you know abortion should be the last choice maybe not on the forcibly thing you know if if you were put in a situation where you know you were taken advantage of and ended up pregnant Mm, that would probably be like the only time that I could consider abortion being like in the top three choices, if not the top one, you know. Um, Cause I know that'd just be hard on the, like as hard as it is on the, the actual woman, like that'd be like crazy hard, hard. It'd, it's like crazy hard for the woman, you know, for one to have to go through any type of physical force thing um, in that way. And then to go through the pregnancy and then raise the child, that's like, that's a whole different level of love. Like, and that being a constant reminder and to still go through with it and then, you know, raise the baby up. That's crazy. I don't know. 
I don't even know if that would be healthy or not. You know, healthy for the woman or healthy for the child. Um, that's a crazy situation. Like, I, I I wouldn't know what to do. I wouldn't know what to type of advice to give to anyone in that situation. I like how you gonna be mad at somebody for having an abortion if they got some, if they got forcibly, you know what I'm saying, sexually was forced, you know what I'm saying, in that situation. Um but putting that one to the side, that particular situation, um, all the other situations like I kinda mentioned, you know, Maybe it was a one night stand and you got pregnant. Maybe it was someone that you was dealing with that you didn't have no intentions. And this is speaking from the woman's perspective. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, brainstorming on, you know, how they would perceive what would be good reasoning for having an abortion in certain situations. Um, you know, whether it be, you know, um, you know, one really taking the guy serious, which I was just doing what y'all was doing. Maybe you was taking the guy serious and, you know, who knows, um, maybe he's not, um, maybe he's not, you know, in a situation where you feel he would be a, a great father. Um, you know, it's a lot of different things to, to consider. So, you know, I don't know, you know, um, it's, 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 you know, I'm pro-life. I'm pro-life at the end of the day. So I would always, I would always lean more so on half the children. You know, I feel as black people, you know, we got gangbanging killing us. We got um, bad health that's taking us out, stroke, heart attacks. You know, we got... Um, you know, abortions that's taking us, taking our, taking our youth out before they even get in the game. Like they ain't even making it, they ain't even making it past go before they get wiped out. You know what I'm saying? So with abortions, you know, with, with black people, you know, already kind of like dying off at a rapid rate, you know, like I'm from Chicago, like, you know, we haven't, you know, I'm no longer staying in Chicago, but you know, we're having we're having summers or we're having weekends where we're getting 20, 30, 40 shootings, you know. Um I remember when I like maybe with the last couple of years I was out there, like on the weekends was crazy. Like it got to a point where um, you know, you just had to be careful how you was moving. You know, you had to be careful how you was moving, where you was at. Um always had to keep some on you so you know just the rate in which we dying off you know i would definitely uh be more pro pro life and, and not abortions now so far as um women you know having their own choice like it's my body i can do what i want to type thing uh i don't know if that's 100 percent um i don't know if that's 100 percent fair um, I get it though, you know, it is your body, but you didn't become pregnant alone. Um, you know, and I like to always look back and, you know, this may be a little primitive thinking, which I don't think it is, but some may think it's like this primitive type of way of thinking, but, you know, at one point in time in history, their abortion wasn't an option. Like, you know, you couldn't get pregnant and go anywhere to have an abortion. So, you know, I know that we've made advances. You know, the, the, the human race is more intelligent. We have more technology. We have more, more understanding of anatomy. You know what I'm saying? Of conception. I understand all that. But, like, let's get to the naturalness of it. Like, the naturalness of... uh procreating, you know, like at one point in time, there were no, no one to go to, to have this done. So you had to have the baby, regardless of how you felt about anything, you know, um, 
and just to keep things on a natural basis, you know, in that aspect, you know, it may not be the best choice to um, say I have the choice to make the choice of having an abortion. Um, should it be mandatory? I think it should I think it should be circumstantial to a degree. I think it should be circumstantial. You know, like I said, if someone was forced, sexually forced and 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 would get pregnant, like in that in that situation, I think that person should be able to make the decision whether or not they want to have the baby or have an abortion in that particular situation. So far as if they if they're financially able to take care of them. Um, I figure, you know, when I was young, I used to think if you weren't financially able to take care of a child, you shouldn't have one. But at this day and age, being a lot older, um, hopefully more mature, I would say, I would say you can, you can find a way, you can find a way to, 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 um, make a way financially and, and raise, Raise your little boy or raise your little girl, you know what I'm saying, in a good way. And um and, and make things and make things be as good as you can make them. You know. Growing up without money is, you know, it's just one of those things, man. You know, you know, if you know if you know HG is to the streets, you know, I've always been I've always expressed um basically being a little anti capitalism. Not a little anti-capitalism. I'm full anti-capitalism. But, you know, I do understand this is the power structure that we live in. And getting money is just part of that comes with it. So I'm not going to sit here and be naive and act like, oh, you know, don't get money or this, that, and the other. But we can't be basing, um, we can't be basing all our decisions based off money, you know, especially when it comes to life. Um. You know, just think about it. Just think about all the people who were born that you love, admire, got respect for, who then did things for you if they didn't get born because their family didn't have money. Like, everyone in your life wouldn't exist then. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, half of y'all grew up poor than a motherfucker, broke than a motherfucker, and the people that you love the dearest and the most are uh, poor than a motherfucker, broke than a motherfucker. So... Or started off that way, at least, you know. Um, so just, just put that rationale into effect. You know, if 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 that was the reasoning behind, if that was if that's a good reason not to have a child is because you're not financially in a good spot, then like all the people in your life that you got mad love for, you know, you wouldn't, you know, you would have never got a chance to experience them. Because they would have got aborted because their families didn't have money. And then nine times out of ten, you know, you would have got aborted because your family didn't have any money. So, you know, I would always say, um, you know, when it comes to finances that you can make do. Um, and it's something that, and I wasn't thinking like this when I was younger. You know, I was like, man, if you ain't got the money, man. Like, that's how I was thinking. You know, I was like, man, if I ain't got the money to take care of no kids, I ain't having none. And that rolled over into me being shit, uh middle-aged man with no kids you know what i'm saying so at least i was uh <laughs> at least i stood on what i believed at the time and then now it kind of just just didn't happen you know what i'm saying but that was my that was my thinking you know what i'm saying and i manifested um you know i manifested that in that in that you know in that particular in that particular way you know what i'm saying that actually manifested itself you know what i'm saying and um you know, now though, um, I definitely, you know, wouldn't mind at least having one child, you know, at least one, you know, um, and who knows, you know, and like now, you know, like, you know, I'm not saying like financially shit, like niggas still be struggling, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, I just understand, you know, how to, you know what I'm saying, 
get to the money, you know, manage it. You know, sometimes you be down, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you be down, sometimes you be up. That's just how, that's just the seesaw, you know? That's why we grinding is to the street. <laughs> that's why we grinding is to the street. You can definitely still uh, order your t-shirts, DM me, you know what I'm saying? Um, these are the old editions. We got the new ones coming. You know, we got the these the vinyl joints, man. We about to step it up and get the digital ones, you know. But I like the vinyl ones though too. You know what I'm saying? Some um old, some classic about the vinyl joints. You know what I'm saying? So um but yeah, man, that's why we we grinding, you know. Um you know, um you know, you just always gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? You always just gotta be on your grind, you know, trying to get, get your situation better. And if a situation comes where, you know, you end up getting someone pregnant, you know, make do. Make do. You'll figure it out. You'll work it out. You know what I'm saying? Um, so far as, you know, this particular woman making a campaign out of it, I don't know, man. You know, it's 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 a crazy situation when you have your own people so okay with killing or not allowing the life of their own people to exist. It's, it's, it's a little weird, you know what I'm saying? It's a little weird. Um, not saying, you know, because I don't want, you know, not to take away anyone's choice. You know, I do feel it's a, a decision if you are going to go forward with it it should be a decision that's made by both of the parents or would be parents you know i don't think the man should be excluded from the decision making just because he's not the one that has to have a baby when it took him to manifest the decision of even having the conversation in the first place because he's the one that got you pregnant you know so um you know, if you saying you're pro-choice, then it's wrong and not fair for you to take away his choice. You see what I'm saying? Or his choice in the matter, you know? So, you know, I think that's just one way, um, you, know, you know, one of the ways we got to look at it. You know, if you guys are in a relationship or if you guys are just hanging out in that type of manner, being intimate, and you get pregnant and, you know, for one, you know, we kind of at the age where, like, you know, when you have sex, getting pregnant is part of the deal. Like, you can't be rolling over, no protection, no birth control, smashing in the morning. Like, you know, we all love to do in the morning time. Morning sex is like some of the best sex, you know. I've always particularly been a... um night guy you know what i'm saying like let's get it in at night and you know in the morning we'll see you know but uh <laughs> you know but um you know everyone everyone likes a morning wake up um snuggle and uh so but like it comes with the territory you know what i'm saying so like being grown as hell like i see you like I'm not a defending abortion, but I'll just see like when you're dealing with like teenagers and stuff. You know, like 18, 19 year olds, you know, people that's young, you know what I'm saying? I can understand them getting young, getting pregnant young, and feeling like, man, you know, I got my whole life ahead of me. I don't want to have a child, um, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? But like you got like 35 year olds having abortions. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, you a whole 35, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, that. Like, you know better. You know what I'm saying? So, like, now, now you're going to, you know, stop a life from manifesting just because, you know, you know, you um possibly was a little irresponsible, you know, sexually. Um... And this goes for men and women. This is not just a conversation for women. You know what I'm saying? Because men have to take just as much accountability as the woman. You know, if you get this woman pregnant, 
you know, how supportive are you being, you know, um, how, how, um, you know, are you going to step up and do the manly thing, you know, are you going to, you know, make sure, you know, those nine months of cultivation are as stress free for her as possible. Because at the end of the day, that's your child. So if she's stressed out, then the child is stressed out. You know, um, you know, these are things that the guy needs to consider. You know, is he going to be selfish and, um, you know, leave the decision making all up to her? That would force a woman to to have an abortion when you're dealing with a guy that really isn't, you know, um, all in with you with this decision you know if he's chasing other women and and when i say chasing other women i don't you know i don't mean like in a sense of monogamy and polygamy i just means to where um you know he's more concerned about you know getting some some ass instead of you know really um growing with the person that he's being intimate with you know so um and even if he is dealing with multiple women you know if one of them gets pregnant you know regardless of who you're dealing with besides that person you now you have a, a greater responsibility to that person you know because now there's a potential child involved you know so um you know you definitely want to um you know just be a stand-up dude about that you know what i'm saying um, and don't be just because you 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 want to run away from your responsibility. You're trying to coach her into an abortion. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, like, come on, like, stop it. You know what I'm saying? And that's what some dudes do. That's what some dudes do. You know, they don't want to deal with the responsibility of it, so they'll try to cohort co coerce. I'm pronouncing that right, um, core wars, core wars, whatever, you know what I'm saying, into, uh, into, uh, you know, having an abortion, you know, offering to pay for it, I pay for it, and all that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying, so yeah, it's a definitely a two-way street, you know, um, it's definitely a two-way street, definitely a two-way street, I definitely, um, I'm not taking no accountability off of the guys and I'm not taking no accountability off of the women in any shape, form, or fashion. Um, I think we need more black babies out here, more black little girls, more black little boys being raised the right way with both parents in the household. Like I'm at the point where like I don't even care if the parents can't get along. You guys need to stay together and play like you get along in front of the kid. Like until like that's the the point I'm at now. I'm getting tired of you know all these single family homes and stuff just because you know y'all can't get along about whatever. Like I don't I don't care. You know like I don't care. Like that's just my personal opinion. I don't care like if it ain't nothing like too crazy like work that shit out. Or just stay together, even if you can't work it out, stay together for the children, for the family structure. You know, I don't care if you guys got to sleep in different rooms, like stay in the house together. That way, you know, even if the child doesn't see lovey-dovey, lovey-dovey parent, co-parenting, they'll at least have the, the, um, the family structure as a... You know, they'll have the family structure as a um as a guideline, you know, to some type of guideline, you know, getting older and you know, coming into their own manhood or womanhood, and they'll have somewhat of a um a understanding of family and how to treat the opposite sex, you know. Hopefully, if you guys were doing a co parent situation, but you guys weren't in love with each other or, you know, intimate, you know, showing affection to each other, you guys could at least have a cordial relationship in the same household and whatever business you guys needed to do 
so far as your personal thing, dealing with other people, you know, y'all will go outside the home and do it. You know, that's the best thing I can see, you know, for, for cause you know, I'm getting, you know, I'm just getting tired of just like every time you, you talking to someone, it's like, oh, I'm into it with my baby mama. I'm into it with my baby daddy and all that goofy shit. Like that shit been going on like for, for like 40 years now. Like when is it going to stop? You know what I'm saying? Like the, the the same old narrative, the same old shit. Like, come on, like, like man, like switch it up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> switch it up. You know what I'm saying? And you know all the blame and the and finger pointing. Oh, this nigga don't do this, and oh, this girl don't do that, and she da da, and he don't da. Man, work that shit out. Quit bickering, man. Y'all supposed to be thinking bigger. I supposed to be, be thinking bigger than you know your feelings. Not saying you gotta be miserable and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? But you know, if a kid's involved, you know, the the both of you guys, in my opinion, main priority should be the child. What do we need to do that's that will best serve the child? Do we want the child to come up in a split home? That should automatically be a no. So, okay, me and you, we're not getting along in a romantic way. Let's do our best to get along in a cordial co-parenting way in the same household, you know. So, um, you know, hopefully we can, you know, as a people, we can practice more, practice more of that um, because we got to get our family structure back. Um, so far as with all this abortion stuff, you know. I mean, you take it, you take it for what I said, you know, whether I believe in abortion or not, you know, I'm not going to give a um, a yes or a no, because I don't think it's a yes or no answer. I think it's circumstantial, but I think the only time that you have a definite yes on abortion is if it's forcibly, if it was forced, if a woman was forcibly um, impregnated and, um, and um, you know, her having the, the the right or the having the decision or the choice to um have an abortion, I think that's the only one where I would say that would be like one hundred percent pro abortion. Um, pretty much on all the other situations, I would say just you know, you know, suck it up and bring the bring the life into the world because. There's only so many issues why you don't want to have a baby. You know, it's either we already said forcible. Okay, that's one reason to have an abortion. What's the second reason to have an abortion? Your money ain't right. Okay. You can manage there. You know what I'm saying? What's the third reason to have an abortion? Um, not having, don't, just don't want to have no kids. Well, in that case, then you should have had took better precautions on not getting pregnant. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you should have thought about that before you did what you did to get pregnant. You should have took those precautions beforehand. Don't try to come in on the back end. And this is goes for guys and the women. I don't want you just the way I'm wording it. I don't want you to think that I'm just talking about the women. You know what I'm saying? Because guy, like I said, guys be on that shit trying to core horse women to have abortions because they don't want to deal with the responsibility of it. Well, I got the $300 dollars this do. You know what I'm saying? So all that needs to be um, um, all the I don't feel like um, dealing with no kid stuff needs to be taken care of before having the kid. You know what I'm saying? Before even having the act of having sex to um, have a child. You know what I'm saying? You should be thinking about that. Um you know, what's another reason to have an abortion? Um, you know, the the man trying to, like I said, coerce the woman into having it because he don't want to deal with the responsibility. He don't want to take accountability. And that's, you know, that goes for both both male and female, you know. So, you know, all those reasons right there, you know, in my book are not very substantial reasons to have an abortion. Um, but what do I know? The guy who don't have any kids, right? So, um, 
I don't know, man. I just wanted to chop it up with y'all. You know, make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Um, this video is no shape, form, or fashion to um, take away anyone's choice. This is no one's, you know, I'm not, um, you know, it's just a conversation to me. Um, you know, don't feel bad about what I said. Just, you know, it's just my perspective, you know. It's just my perspective. I'm pretty sure it's a whole bunch of people that I can talk to that is pro-abortion. They'll get they'll run down that list of why people should be able to have abortions, and you know, they may talk. They may say a few points that I haven't brought up that I'd be like, well, I can see that. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's more dialogue for me and coming to an understanding. But one thing that we can't deny is that um, you know, black deaths are at all time high. Um, on not just abortion, gang violence, like I said, health issues, um, like we're leading, black people are leading in, in leaving, we're leading at, in leading, we're leading at leaving the earth sooner than later. So, um, I don't know, you know, how important your race, you know, the, 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 color of the race that you are matters or not you know some of the, that stuff may not matter to people it matters to me though um you know i always used to use this um like hypothetical like because like the way we've been dying off um i always used to say like like what are you what if you were to come outside and you are the only black person you know what i'm saying it's kind of like that that same scenario or analogy uh that ice cube gave in higher learning when he say um you standing under the flag united states and flag of america and they do the pledge of allegiance and you the only black dude in the stadium and everybody looking at you you know just think of how just think about you know how would you look you know how 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 would you stand out you know how bad you would stand out um and that just goes to my analogy was used to come out the house and like all your neighbors are white and then every other block and then like every other state, everyone was white or any other race besides black. You know what I'm saying? Not just to gear this to our white people, but, um, you know, any other race, you know what I'm saying? Like you'll feel pretty lonely. You'll feel pretty lonely and, and isolated. So, um. I always use that analogy when it comes to preserving our people, you know, which is something that we all should be practicing and um, promoting, you know, and we're at a point where we're promoting the death of our people on so many different levels. And, you know, and be honest with you, you know, other other races of people, nationalities have their fights and have their killings, you know, look at the, the situation overseas. But, um. I think we are doing it more. So I think it's more of our culture than it is of their culture. I think it's probably, well, I wouldn't say that, you know, because they have a culture of, of definitely destroying each other. But ours is more, I think, periodic. Ours is more frequently. Theirs is more periodically, you know, so that's something that definitely needs to change. But I'm about to go on tap out, y'all. Salute. HG is to the street. Make sure y'all hit that like button, share button, subscribe button. Make sure y'all support your boy on Patreon. Um, definitely support me on Patreon. We talked about that video, you know what I'm saying, on Patreon, what to expect. But I'm out. Peace.